Hey, Micro Machine fans and collectors. Now, take a look at the Bugatti Speed Legends World Pack. Um, and let me tell you guys what I kind of don't like about the, um, background here. And I'm noticing now it's purple. That, that's, that's pretty cool. It's like a midnight blue purplish background. That, I like how they're doing colors now for the backgrounds. That's, it's kind of cool. But, um, this one's like weird to me because every single other one that's had like, you know, like a hole in it for the car to drive in. It's been like a building or a garage or, you know, something that would like have something like that. And this one kind of bugs me because of the fact that it, uh, I don't know. It's just the fact that I get, yeah, they're Bugattis and you know, people that own Bugattis have serious money. They're going to, like, some expensive yacht party or something like that. No, I mean, that's what it looks like anyway. But it's just, like, I'm used to every single other one being, like, a building. When it's got, like, a sky and all that stuff, I, I feel like it's just kind of weird. I don't like the fact that it shows the sky, I think, is my problem. If it was just a boat, I mean, yeah, it's like, it's cool. It looks cool, but it's just, like... It doesn't, I don't feel like it really fits in with all the rest of them, you know? I, I don't know, I, that was just something I felt like I needed to say, because it's kind of bugging me. But, um, let's take a look at the Bugattis now. And we've seen this guy before. This is probably the most fancy one we've seen of them, because uh, we've seen it in blue, red, silver, and now we've actually seen like a silver with a red, which is really cool. I don't know if this is like an iconic color for this or anything. I feel like it might be, considering they put a lot of detail into it, like cheese. Still, these wheels, seems like they only use these for the Bugatti. They do a good job on these wheels, too, I will say. I haven't really noticed too many problems with these specific wheels. But, yeah, pretty cool. Just check that out. Pretty cool. I mean, we've seen this car before. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like the interior, too. Like, I know I said I normally don't like micro machines and convertibles, but for some reason, this one works. Like, this one works. I think it says, like, it doesn't really have doors. Or, I don't know, is this supposed to have doors? I don't know. This one just works in a convertible. It does. I don't know why. But it, it just works. It does. But there is that one. And this is the Speed Legends World Pack. I believe I already said that. And I am so happy they made this one in blue. I was kind of upset when they first came out with this car. And then they made that other pack. And they had it in yellow. And then they had a silver one. Like, this car is iconic in blue, I feel like. And the fact that that it wasn't blue when it first came out. I was like, oh man, come on. What are you talking about here? Sorry, this thing is kind of foggy. I gotta clean it. There we go, that's better. But, yeah, I was kind of upset when they first made this car and they didn't make it in blue. And that rim on the back is terrible. That is absolutely terrible. The front one is terrible, too, on this side. Yeah, the... The one on this side and the one on this side is okay, but the one on this side and this side, terrible. Those are terrible. I feel like the rims are starting to get to be a kind of an issue, because there's getting to be so many of them that have bad rims, that it's almost going to be impossible to find ones that actually have good wheels. Like, you guys need to get your stuff together and kind of paint the wheels better. Like, the wheels are... Kind of really starting to annoy me in a lot of these. But, uh, yeah, I was so upset when I saw they made this and it wasn't blue. I was like, oh, man, come on, why is it not blue? That's like the iconic color for that car. It's got taillights, got the mufflers painted. This thing looks cool. It really does. If it didn't have the bad wheels, this would, this would really be cool. I mean, not that it's not. I mean, I could fix the wheels easily. Got a little bit of overspray right there in the corner, I can see. Nothing I can't fix, though. 
Yeah, there it is. That's one we've seen before. This one's one we've seen before. Um, I'm trying to remember. Okay, yeah, we've seen it in blue with black. And we've seen it in silver with this same blue design. I do like this white one, though. It looks electric. I'm not sure if this car is electric. I'm a car guy, but I'm a car guy because I enjoy the art of auto making. I don't really care what's under the hood. I could care less. I just like what they look like on the outside. I'm very like into designs of like bodies and paint jobs and stuff like that that's that's my thing i'm a car guy for that reason i love just the art of auto design like the aerodynamics and i don't know what's really the aerodynamics i just like the idea of just something that looks so neat like these look cool like that they got that split thing and that's just really cool Black wheels. I'm not sure if the ones we've saw in the past had black wheels. I think they had blue, but I can't remember. Okay, no, I know for a fact the one that came in the starter pack had blue around the wheels because I thought that was really cool. But, yeah, here it is. Really cool. I do like that one. And then we got a Veyron, and I really, really don't understand why this isn't blue. In black, because that's like the really iconic color for the Veyron. I don't think I've ever once, when I think of a Veyron, thought of it in like a reddish orange. Every time I think of a Veyron, I think of it in like that blue-black color. It was really popular in when it first came out, and it was like all over the place. It was in video games. I believe it was like the main car in one of the Ferrarza games at one point. And, you know, just the fact that it's not got that split design on it kind of sucks. I hope they do make one that's, like... I know you guys know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the iconic Veyron color. Like, there was a color of the Veyron that when you think of Veyron, it just pops in your head. Like, that's the Veyron color. It's black and blue. But this one's just not... It's cool, and I wish I would have gotten another one because I would have made it myself, but I didn't. I only got one of the Bugatti set. Well, I didn't really take a look at the back of it, did I? It's got that uh, egg grill. Whoa! Okay, it's doing a trick for us there. It's got the taillights. Okay, I kind of like how they did the taillights. Like, they didn't need to because it's kind of red, but they get, made them chrome. It's also got the nice in the back that is sweet i like that that is cool this car looks really good from the back and i do like the wheels look at that some good wheels that's cool don't need to switch any wheels on this guy this guy's got some good wheels more of that please micro machines and i'm not sure what this one's called i thought it was called the chiron but i believe that's this one I'm not sure what this one is called. I've never even seen this one. This must be like the newest Bugatti that's out. I thought it was this one, but I, I don't keep up on stuff like that. So it might be this one, but man, this is a really neat looking one. Wow. That is cool. That is a really cool looking Bugatti. Is this like that one that if it gets damaged, it fixes itself? I saw one like that, but I think that was a Lamborghini that they were making, some kind of prototype Lamborghini that if it, like, cracks or something, like, heats itself up and heals itself. I don't know. It was a car that could heal itself. I remember watching a video about it on YouTube, and it was really impressive to me. But, yeah, that is a cool one. That is definitely a cool one. That's a new cast. And you look how far those tailpipes stick out. Dang, that's cool. I like that one. And the fact it's got black wheels means it ain't got no mistakes. Good wheels on that one, too. All these had good wheels except for this one. But, hey, we're still cool. But, all right, guys, uh, now we'll talk about the background. I know I already kind of talked about it, but we'll just take a look at it real quick. So, it's like this midnight blue or purple. I really like it. I like the color. I don't much care for the background because of the fact it shows the sky. I, I just, 
Uh, I don't know. It's just weird to me because every single other one, I swear, like this is the first one to have like the sky and. I get what they're trying to imply, like, these are rich people that going into the yacht party, like, going in there, and then it goes down, because usually that's how those work, if you've ever played video games, I have, like, places like this, I think, I, yeah, if you've ever played GTA, um, Vice City, when you go to the yacht party in that one mission, like, you go drive in the gate, and it, like, goes down, and you, you wouldn't be able to see the car anymore if you were here, but... Yeah, but, I don't know, it kind of works in that sense if you think about it like that, but, like, you're going down there, and it'd be kind of cool if they made, like, a yacht city for the cars, like, I'm talking, like, not, like, with just a few buildings, I'm talking, like, a lot of buildings, like, for scenic stuff, like, I wish they'd make a set like that for people, like, doing dioramas and stuff, and, like, doing realistic looking stuff, with, like, trees, and, like, a lot of buildings and like city streets and town and like just like a little town like an average like american town you go through a town it's got like a, a stoplight maybe a couple of stoplights and you know then you got these roads it's just like two lane roads and it goes through a little store and stuff and i'm probably asking for too much I ain't never gonna do something like that but that'd be cool but um hot wheels did do something like that um i actually have those and they're worth quite a bit of money but i won't get into that because this isn't my car channel which eventually i might make a channel or i already do but i'm deciding whether or not if i want to do that on there but i won't get into that that's that's not what this video is for but um yeah i guess now to kind of think about it it makes more sense but i i just i don't like the sky if it was just the boat in those buildings i'd like it more but in fact the sky is there just I don't know. It just doesn't seem right. Like it's different from all the other ones. It's like way different. I do like it. I like. I don't hate it. It's just weird to me. I don't know why. Oh, Veron is trying to crash into the camera. I was trying to make it fly past like that. Whoa. Okay, that one's quick. Woo! That black one's probably the quickest one. If it didn't hit the older Bugatti, it probably would have rolled off the table. But um, yeah. Um, there they are. That is all of the Series 5 World Packs. I'm going to work on trying to get the starters. Definitely a lot of those monster trucks, because I have a lot of ideas to make some lifted cars. <laughs> lifted Veyron, like a lime green monster energy Veyron. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. But all right, guys. Um, I'm going to end this video here, and uh, I'll see you guys when I get some more stuff. I'm going to work on trying to get the new Supervan City, and... Uh, corvette raceway and uh also the jail should be here within a couple days so expect to hear from me again in a couple days i got my internet now so i'm back